Hello, everyone. Mrs. Thornton here. So this is this piece of music is called Pictures at an Exhibition by Mazorsky. Okay. Here is the story behind it. Can you think of some ways composers get their ideas for a musical piece? Now remember, a composer is the one who writes the music. Well, let's see, maybe they get their ideas from the world around them. Maybe if they see something funny, they wanna write about it, or maybe they read a story and they wanna write about it, things like that. Maybe they just want to, they see something really great, so they wanna set it to music. That could happen, right? There's lots of different ways we can get ideas for a musical piece. Anybody in class, we'll pause this for a second, have any ideas? The ways composers get their ideas are numerous. Sometimes a composers will write a song with a certain event in their mind, like a special party or maybe a war that their country won. Some get their ideas from listening, watching, or experiencing nature. Others from a story, poem, or memory. But songs from Modus Mazorsky's pictures at an exhibition were written for two reasons. Mazorsky, a Russian composer, had a good friend named Victor Harmon. Victor was a painter and an architect, which meant, meant he built really cool things. The two men strongly believed that Russian musicians and composers and artists were very talented. They worked hard to try to get the rest of the world to notice the talent of Russian artists, musicians, and composers. Suddenly, though, Victor died, and that was very sad. He was only 39 years old. Mussorgsky was very sad by his friend's death. He wanted to find a way to honor his friend and thought about writing some music about his friend. Shortly after Hartman's death, another friend, Vladimir Statsov, came up with a great idea. What was your idea, Vladimir? Statsov, who was an art critic, that meant he would look at artwork and he would say whether it was good art or bad art. He began to organize a showing of all of Hartman's paintings and sketches. An exhibit is a special showing or displaying of someone's artwork. Several of the sketches and paintings in the exhibit were actually owned by Mazorsky. When Mazorsky saw the exhibit of paintings, he was even more inspired and wrote the music for Pictures at an Exhibition. This is the song that we are studying today. Mazorsky used ideas from 11 of his friends' pieces of art. Sadly, only six of these paintings still exist today. The first song from Pictures at an Exhibition is called Promenade or Promenade. A promenade or promenade is a walkway or a path. The song helps to make you feel as if you were relaxing and walking around the exhibit with Mazorsky, looking at all the wonderful paintings that his friend created. Do you think the tempo of this song would be fast or slow and why? What do you think? Do you think a promenade would be fast? or slow if you're walking down a path? What do you think? Let's pause this and get some answers. A ballet of unhatched chicks in their shells. There's, that's Hartman's actual painting and that's one of the parts of the exhibition that we will listen to. This was a sketch that Hartman designed for a scene in a ballet called Trilby. As you listen to Mussorgsky's musical version, imagine that the chicks are pecking at their eggshells trying to get out, and we'll listen to that. Do you think the tempo of the song will be fast or slow? Do you think the chicks will ever get tired? Think of pecking, peck, 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 peck. Do you think that's fast or slow? Let's pause this presentation and See if we can get some answers, fast or slow.
Which style? Would it be a smooth style? Which just, or would it be peck, 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 peck? Would it be a choppy style? The musical terms for that are, are legato, which means smooth, and staccato, which is choppy. You don't have to know those, but I'm just saying them to you, just so we can learn. A hut on fowl's legs. This is a sketch. Hartman's drawing of this hut shows a clock standing on the legs of a hen. That's funny. The hen's legs, huh? The hut is owned by Baba Yaga, the Polish name for witch. See the little, um, the little chicken legs at the bottom of it? It's a hen's legs, actually. What am I saying? <laughs> As you listen to this music by Mazorski, can you imagine hearing the bells of a large clock? Do the bells move fast or slow? And we're going to listen to this. We can pause and listen to this like we've paused for the other ones and listen to it. Do you think the bells of a clock will move fast or slow? Ding, ding, ding. What do you think? The Great Gate of Kiev. And that's the painting that Hartman drew. This was Hartman's design for the gates to the city of Kiev. This is in Russia. He designed this gate to honor the Tsar Alexander II. The Tsar is like the Russian king or the Russian leader. He won a contest with this design, but unfortunately the project to build the gate was canceled, so it was never really built. When you listen to this music, does it sound royal? So we'll pause. And we'll listen and we'll see if it is. When we listen to it, let's think about what makes it royal and why. Is the tempo fast and quick or broad and slow? Is it loud or is it soft? Unfortunately, many of Hartman's pictures that were in the exhibit have been lost. That makes it difficult to know which sketches and paintings Mussorgsky was thinking of when he wrote the songs, featured in pictures at an exhibition. However, thanks to Mussorgsky's friend Hartman and Vladimir, we do have a description of what some of them look like. Gnome. Everybody know what a gnome is? Gnome is like a little guy in a garden, right? The gnome is a little clumsy and he runs on crooked legs. So when we listen to the gnome, we'll see if it sounds like that. Some say the sketch looks like a little nutcracker with large teeth. So we're gonna pause this and listen to the gnome. Do you think that his music to the gnome was fast or slow or why? Cattle, or Bidlo, a.k.a. the ox cart. We don't know the title of the painting or the sketch that inspired this song. It should sound like, maybe when you think of it, maybe an ox cart? Well, we'll see about that. Describe the artwork as a Polish cart, enormous wheels drawn by huge oxen. So we'll pause again and listen to this song. you think when you think about the sketch in front of you that the music was slow or fast and why was it soft or quiet the old castle we don't know the title of the painting for this sketch either when we think of an old castle his friend Statsoff described the artwork as a medieval castle for which a troubadour sings a song. A troubadour is like a traveling musician that sings songs for lots of people in different villages. There's the troubadour right there. He was a French singer and he wandered around and sang love poems. They lived between the years 400 to 1500. That is long time ago.
Now that you know how the sketch was described, do you think Mazorsky's music was fast or slow? So we'll listen to this and we'll see if the music was fast or slow. It's soft or quiet, the old castle. While many of Hartman's sketches and paintings have been lost, at least we still have the wonderful music of Mazorsky. So, and he will help us see with our ears. Ooh, fancy. All right. Pictures at an exhibition. All right. And I think that's the end of that. This is stuff we already talked about. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. And thank you very much for listening to this music. And I will see you later. Bye from Mrs. Thornton. Have a great day.